Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have my first slash second update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. So um, I did my intro video for this and uploaded it on time and then I did film my first update but I never got around to editing it just because I was so swamped from work. I just didn't have any time to edit it until around really close to this update so I figured I'd just throw it into one video um, because in my first update I had had no rollouts, I had no noticeable progress, so it was kind of a boring update anyways, so I figured I'd just combine them and show you guys progress over two months for this update. So if you don't know Emily, she is an incredible panner. She's created a couple different really interesting projects. If you're familiar with the Graveyard Project Pan, she created that one as well. Um, she's an incredible mom and a fellow Canadian, so I just love her all around. So when she announced this project, I knew it was something that I was going to incorporate onto my channel. Emily's channel will be linked down below and at the end of this video as always, but I'm also going to link her introduction video for this project pan because she goes really in depth into the rules for this project pan. I'm not very good at explaining all these rules, but I'll do a quick um, run through of how this project kind of works. So basically this is a five pan rolling project pan, but the fun thing is we use a deck of cards to pick our products. So we have a game board that I'm going to pop on the screen right now. And this game board is shuffled every month by Emily. Every month it will have different prompts. So basically what you do is you draw five cards and each card will match up to a different prompt on the game board and then you pick a product that you feel suits that prompt. That's basically the gist of it. If that doesn't make sense to you, definitely check out Aunt Emily's introduction video. But let's just get started. I have two products rolling out that I will show you at the end. So let's just start off with the products that I just made some good progress on. So the first product was for the prompt a blush. So I picked out my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade uh, Plum Rose. I'll show you a picture of the intro uh, where it was at and if I can find a picture of the first update I'll also try and include those as well. I had the goal to finish this and here's what we're looking like now. Um, I know some, trying to finish a blush seems like a lot but I did have a lot of pans starting off and I do have to really build this blush up to be visible. I think this is one I can definitely finish in the year if I just focus on it. So for the first month I used it 19 times and I kind of burnt myself out on it because that was every single time I wore makeup and I just I needed a break from it so for the second month I only used it seven times and um, gave myself a bit of a break but I'm ready to go back and really go hard on this blush this month as long as I'm wearing makeup. I think I can make some good progress on this one. The next prompt I was given is your least expensive product. So for that I decided to go with an eyeshadow palette. So I picked out my ColourPop Mint to Be palette. I gave myself a usage goal of uh, 20 uses. I just have to reach for the palette 20 times. Doesn't matter what shades or how many shades as long as I reach for it 20 times doing my makeup. That's good enough for me. 20 days of use. Um, so you're not going to see any noticeable progress on the uh, palette itself just because I'm using it sporadically and not really focusing on one shade. But I think you can kind of see I am starting to get a dip on this uh, light shade. I use that a lot in my inner corner. It's really pretty. So I've used this palette a total of 14 times. So another six more uses and then this will be able to roll out. So I'm hoping I can get that done before the next update. It is obviously a very monochromatic palette, so there's not a lot of variety I can get, so I really have to be in the mood for a minty blue look if I want to reach for this. Um, so it is a bit slower going, um, but we're going to get there. We're so close. And the next product I have here comes from my Lorac Pro palette. I picked this for the prompt, um, your oldest product, because it is one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes that I still own. Um, so the shade I'm working on is called Cream. Um, my goal is to finish it because I figured it's a pretty easy shade to finish, uh, considering it's just a light cream shade that I can use to set my lid. So I'll show you what it looks like before. Um, but here's where we're at now. So like just the corners of this side and I hit 
side pan on the bottom if you are able to see so like there's hardly anything left I can definitely get this gone if I do my makeup enough in the next month um, so I've used this shade a total of 33 times in the last two months uh, every single time I wear makeup I use this to set my eyeshadow primer one of my goals this year is to not only hit pan on eyeshadows but to also finish as many eyeshadows as I can as well and try and get some out of my collection so I figured that this shade would be a really good one to start with it's pretty easy and I definitely see it being used up soon I think I'm gonna repress it because it's getting to the point where it's hard to to use but I am very happy with the progress I've been making now we have the two products that I hit my goal on and I'll be rolling out so the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filters for a superstar youth glow so I picked this product for the prompt um, a wishlist dupe so this is kind of a dupe for Samantha Ravindahl's new brand Auric uh, she has a product very similar to this called glow lust that I was kind of interested in picking up but I decided, you know what, I have this and I don't really love this, so I might as well work on this one first before I try hers. And also, if I don't love this, why do I want to pick up another product that's almost identical to this? The logic just isn't there, so that's why I picked this product. And I'm happy I did. I was able to use it 30 times, which was my goal. I'm pretty happy that I decided to work on this. I don't find this product to be anything special, as I've mentioned before. Um, it could just be the color is wrong for me because it is a bit dark for my skin tone. I have the shade Fair One, um, so it doesn't really work as a highlighter. I have to use it kind of underneath foundation or mixing it in with foundation, um, which I find I can use any liquid highlighter for this, so this just seems like a really expensive option for something that's so basic. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of people really love this, so... Um, yeah, I'm happy to get my 30 uses out of it and we will be rolling this out. And I didn't buy the Auric product, so that's awesome too. Okay, now we have the last product that I will be rolling out, which is my Wet n Wild uh, I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. So this highlighter is very intense. It's so blinding that you just need the tiniest amount um, and it just it gives such an intense glow. It's kind of a bit much for me personally like I do like an intense highlight but I really have to blend it out to make it look right on my skin tone this was for the prompt uh, your favorite panner I don't have one favorite panner but I decided to pick Laura Force just because she's been so supportive to me on my channel she's a great panner she's hilarious I just love watching her videos so I decided to pick this product for her because she actually um, was working on this in one of her projects she loves a highlighter and she also has a lot of loose products in her collection because she used to work at Bare Minerals and the majority of their products are loose so I thought this product fit her pretty well so I hit my 30th use today um, my goal was to use it 30 times and I hit that today so we will be rolling this out I was really happy to get some use out of this and it will be going back into my collection so because I hit my goal on these two products I will be rolling them out and we're going to be able to draw two new cards um, from our deck. Okay, so I have my deck of cards and I'm just going to continue shuffling them. I shuffled them off camera, but we'll just do it again. I cannot shuffle like a normal human. I, I'm a bit challenged in that sense, so, you know, um, forgive me. I promise they're still shuffled. We're going to pick two cards. So the first one will be a five of spades. I have my game board next to me so I'll just check and see what that is. <laughs> okay so this is a plus one. So we're gonna have six products in our collection. Our next card will be a two of diamonds. So a two of diamonds is represent another project. So I'll have to look and see. There's a lot of projects that I wanted to take part in that I just didn't have the time for. Like um, Partners in Cream and maybe I could do a graveyard project or something. I get, I'll have to think about that one and look and see what products I have in my collection. Um, but that's fun. Okay. And our last card will be... 
an ace of diamonds. Ace is a uh, project graveyard. Okay, I literally just mentioned that. But okay, I have to add a third card for the plus one. So our third card is going to be a three of spades. A three of spades is a controversial brand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I definitely got some of those products for sure. Okay, I'm going to go uh, look in my collection and see what uh, products I want to pad. Okay, so I'm back and that took way too long. Um, I'm so indecisive when it comes to figuring out what I want to pan, but we're back. We made our decision and I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> so our first card is a five of spades, which represents the plus one category. So that means we drew an extra uh, card. So instead of rolling in two products, we're now rolling in three. So I'll start with the ace. The ace always stays the same regardless of the suit. So it's always going to be Project Graveyard. So I picked out my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, this was in my Roulette Pan Collab, I believe. I worked through a huge amount of the product and now I just have this amount left. So I figured I might as well try and finish it. Um, it might take me a while, but that's all right. I'd love to get it out of my collection because I do also have the e.l.f. version. Um, so this is just the travel size, the mini little guy. So hopefully it won't take too long to finish this up. Next I pulled the two of diamonds which represents another project so for that I decided to pull out my MAC lipstick in the shade Snob. Um, this is uh, for the Partners in Cream project pan created by Steph Lyons and Dylan. I never actually got to participate in this project because uh, I just had too much stuff going on but um, I'm happy to be able to make a product for that project. So I decided to pick this MAC lipstick in the shade Snob. Um, as you can see, it's really almost gone. There's not much left. I've had this forever. It's one of my oldest MAC lipsticks. Um, but lately, I've been using it as a cream blush, and I really do like it that way because I just, the color is too cool tone pink for my lips. Like, I'm just not really into that anymore, but it does make a really beautiful cream blush, and I was pairing it underneath this blush from Physicians Formula that I'm panning, so I figured I might as well just throw it into the project. I'm excited for this one. I have only ever finished one lipstick in my life, so um, if I can finish this, that'll be a huge accomplishment for me. So next we have these three of spades which um, represents a controversial brand. Now I had a bit of a hard time with this because it's like I do have a lot of controversial brand products still in my collection that I've purchased from brands back from when they weren't controversial but I just feel so uncomfortable sharing them on my channel. I have the products I'm gonna use them but it fits the prompt so I pulled out my Kat Von D pastel goth palette. So if you've watched any of my recent videos you might know that I have been loving pastels lately and this is just a grungy but also pastel palette and I think it's beautiful. Um, I absolutely love this palette. It was limited edition and I'm glad I was able to snag it because I really do love it. Um, it was my introduction to pastels so it has a special place in my heart. I also just love the name and the packaging of it. Uh, even though Kat Von D I'm not a fan of. I'm not going to try and hit pen. I'm just going to set a usage goal. So I'm going to do a 15 use goal for this palette. As long as I reach for it 15 times, that'll make me happy and then we can roll it out. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe. But that's it for now. Bye.